Hello, this is Philip, and welcome to my channel for this new episode of KOS. Today we are going to talk about loops, and more precisely about, about the until loop. Uh, here I have a new uh, rocket. Let's have a look at, the, at this uh, here. Open the service bay. So I have a probe, I have my KOS processor, as usual, and uh, I add a thermometer here and um, a barometer. Okay, I explain uh, later why I uh, need those uh, two experiments uh, parts. Okay, let's close that. So um, my rocket is uh, a little tilted, a little uh, tilted, yes. Uh, you see here my uh, uh, it is not pointing exactly at uh, 90 degrees, okay? And uh, the code is quite simple for now. Uh, wait until, wait until, okay. Today uh, we we'll talk about the until loop. It is not the same of the wait until. You uh, know the wait until since episode two. That only mean that uh, KOS has to wait until a condition is true. The condition here is uh, um, the stage is uh, ready. So um, KOS wait until the stage is ready, and uh, once is it is uh, so uh, stage, <laughs> and again stage. I need two uh, stages: one for the ignition of the main main engine, and the other one for uh, the clamps. Okay, um, this is not the until loop. The until loop works like that. I just have to write until alone without the wait until uh, some uh, condition. Okay, and uh, then I have here some code. Okay, and after that, I have some code too. So KOS read, uh, reads the, the script from top to bottom. So uh, it reads instructions, and uh, when it reaches uh, an until loop, he uh, check the condition. If the condition is true, then he skipped it. It skips all the loop, and uh, continues with the, the the script. If the condition is uh, false, then uh, it looks at the uh, script here, okay, and it executes the script. It ex executes the script once, it looks at all the scripts, then when it uh, reaches the end of the loop, it goes back at the beginning and uh, it looks at the condition to see if uh, now the condition is true or false. If the condition is true, okay, out of the loop, we continue the script. If the condition is still false, then uh, KOS runs the loop a second time and a third time and each time needed to um, get until the condition is true. So, for example, uh, I can use an until loop just to have some uh, telemetry reading uh, on my vessel. For example, I, want, I just want to print ship altitude uh, as it is going to uh, space. Okay, so I want to uh, print ship altitude, uh, and uh, I, okay, and the condition is until ship altitude is greater than I don't know. Uh, ideal. You can say ship body ATM height. That means that you uh, print the altitude until the ship altitude is uh, greater than the uh, height atmosphere of the body. That means 70 kilometers for Kerbin. But I don't want to wait uh, that long, so I just... Uh, let's go for uh, 5,000 meters. Okay, remember, uh, altitudes are given in meters for KSP. Okay, and uh, at the end of the loop, print, end of the loop. Okay, so uh, let's see how it works. I have to re reboot my computer. 
and let's go. Okay, it's <laughs> it's preaching a lot of words. Those uh, numbers are the current altitude, you see, and uh, it will print out until the uh, ship altitude is greater than uh, 5,000. So uh, we are waiting for 5,000 here and uh, we hope that the uh, uh, it will be soon. Okay, we reached 5,000 out of the loop. Well, uh, it is not exactly what you want. Okay, so for that I have to change a little my uh, script with uh, something you uh, already uh, know. I have to add uh, at. So at, for example, uh, zero 01. It should be better now. You see? That's better. Okay, so I have uh, the first part of my telemetry, but well, I I already have the altitude uh, written here by uh, KSP, so I don't need uh, it from KOS. So let's try something else. This is the online documentation page for uh, KOS. Uh, I'm on the uh, structure vessel and I'm looking for something more interesting than uh, altitude for my uh, telemetry readings. Um, oh, that's one, maybe. Dynamic pressure. Uh, okay, that could be interesting. The air pressure surrounding the vessel. And uh, just below, uh, Q is an alias for uh, dynamic pressure. Okay, so uh, go for Q. And uh, something else is sensors here. Sensor data. Uh, okay, Q is a scalar, it's a number, so I can uh, print it directly. Sensors, the type is vessel sensors, so I have to uh, click on sensors or vessel sensors to see uh, what uh, suffixes I have, and I have the acceleration, the pressure, temperature, uh, gravity, and uh, light. Light sun exposure on the solar panels. I don't have any solar panels, so uh, I can't use it, but it could be interesting to have uh, the sun exposure. Uh, gravity and acceleration are both vectors. Uh, the gravity is uh, for the Gs, okay, gravitational acceleration, and uh, the acceleration is the acceleration experience by the vessel. Those are vectors, so I won't talk about this today. But pressure and temperature are scalars, so I can't print that. To use vessel sensors, you uh, must have the uh, parts, uh, the experiment part on your ship. Okay. Uh, you, you must have the proper type of sensor on board on your vessel. So, back to the vessel. It, uh, it appears that I have <laughs> the uh, sensors. So, I have here the thermometer. Here, and uh, the parameter. You can uh, click on toggle display to have the uh, temperature here and toggle display to have the uh, pressure, the atmospheric pressure. The atmospheric pressure is uh, given in kilopascal. Kilo pascal. So, um, uh, let's say 10,000. Uh, I want here uh, three things. First, I want to uh, print the dynamic pressure. Okay, uh, the dynamic pressure is given by uh, KSP and KRS, it uh, it has nothing to do with the thermometer or the barometer. You can have the dynamic pressure even if you don't have the, bar the barometer uh, in your ship. So I just have to print ship and uh, uh, without the character quotes, um, or oh, I can say a Q equals, and this is so ship 
the dynamic pressure okay dynamic uh, pressure it was or directly q okay so print ship plus ship q at uh, zero one okay and uh, because it will be a big number i want to uh, round it with uh, three digits in the decimal port okay the dynamic pressure is uh, given in uh, with the uh, atm unit uh, one atm is uh, one atmosphere and uh, so we can uh, add for example here plus the unit is atm okay um right then i want to print the temperature okay so uh, sensors let's say like this sensors at uh, zero uh, three okay uh, i uh, i have a blank line here the number two so the third line uh, will be empty and uh, so i want the temperature Uh, so this needs a ship sensors temp okay uh, I will run it uh, KSP uh, here the display is with uh, two uh, digits in the decimal port so I'll, I'll display two digits too and decay is the unit of the temperature is a uh, Kelvin so the temperature is given in a Kelvin unit so uh, round uh, so two digits uh, plus k for kelvin and i want this uh, at uh, zero four okay and uh, the same for the pressure given by the barometer uh, pressure and uh, the sensor is press uh, and this time it's a kilopascal okay at zero five okay so um kos starts with that then it starts it starts the loop until ship altitude is greater than ten thousand meters so uh this loop will be executed then back to the first line KOS checks if uh, the altitude is greater than 10,000 if the answer is no it runs the loop another time and back to the beginning if the answer is no the loop etc etc until the answer of that uh, that condition is true until the ship the altitude ship is greater than 10,000 meters. At that point, we print end of uh, the loop at uh, 08. Okay, uh, just one thing because it's better. I want to wait zero. That means that I want to uh, run the loop only one time for each uh, physics tick. Okay, let's go. Okay, so we have the dyna dynamic pressure and the sensors here, temperature. You see that the value uh, given here by the temperature is quite the same of uh, the display. And uh, here it is not exactly, exactly the same because it appears that KSP uh, doesn't update the value here. So I don't know why. Let me open that and uh, if I toggle display again okay this is good my rocket is doing uh, something wrong because I opened <laughs> the door but it doesn't matter ah, you, you see uh, the display is better I have to update my uh, display okay end of the loop <laughs> my rocket is going very uh, wrong here that's a couple things.
let's say now I want uh, to know what is the max Q uh, until the uh, space. Okay, so this time I uh, will write a uh, ship's body uh, ATM height. Okay, and um, I want to know the max uh, Q and I at which altitude the max Q is uh, reached. So for this, I need two variables, uh, two local variables, uh, max Q, okay, uh, for now is zero, and uh, the local uh, max Q altitude, okay, and for now is the actual uh, ship uh, altitude. Uh, just after the stage, uh, I wait uh, 0 0.5 seconds. Okay, so uh, I am printing the dynamic pressure. I don't need the sensors anymore. And uh, each physics tick, I am recording the dynamic pressure. So I want to see if uh, the ship Q at one physics uh, tick, if it's greater than the uh, max Q. If it's better, greater, so if remember the uh, if uh, condition, if uh, ship Q is greater than max Q, then I can uh, change the value of my max Q. So set a max Q to the actual uh, dynamic pressure. Okay, and um, I want to uh, to save the uh, ship's altitude too, so set max uh, q alt to the actual ship altitude. Okay, so this is for uh, one uh, physics tick. Okay, and each uh, the loop is uh, executed each physics tick. So each physics tick this uh, this if will be executed too. Okay, and uh, at the end of my script, I uh, just want to. Um, uh, I'm sorry, why? Okay, and if I put here zero, is it better? No, well, doesn't matter. Um, and under the loop, okay, uh, two, and uh, print max q reached at plus the uh, max Q altitude, okay? Uh, let me round that. Plus meter. So uh, I uh, print that at uh, zero four, okay? And um, I then print uh, max Q uh, was and the value of the max Q at uh, 0 0.5. Okay, I will uh, run that uh, test here, reboot, and uh, my test didn't go well because I have a mistake here. Uh, I have a period character here and I don't want that period character because the empty loop needs uh, all the code here. Okay, so now it should be better. Uh, reboot. Okay, so I have the dynamic pressure. This is uh, changing. Uh, this is the Q value. And uh, I can warp, okay, and uh, the code continues to uh, be executed even with the warp, okay. Normally, my rocket is uh, is well built to uh, reach space without any problem. You see, the apparatus is uh, very high. I uh, didn't look, maybe you did, but I didn't look at uh, the values here during my flight. So uh, let's see what the code has to say. Okay, end of the loop. 
the max uh, Q reached at 8858.93 meters and the max Q was 0 0.49. We are back with that uh, little uh, probe in uh, orbit around Kerbin and um, we have the uh, apoapsis here, okay? And uh, imagine I want to raise the uh, periapsis, so I want to uh, uh, reach my apoapsis, and I want to um, to uh, raise my velocity to 500 meter per second. Okay, I just want that. Uh, so uh, first, what can I do uh, with my uh, script? So I uh, want to uh, do something <laughs> uh, sorry I want to uh, lock my throttle to one okay uh, I, I have already discussed about the lock throttle you can watch uh, the video if you uh, didn't see uh, yet and uh, I want to uh, lock my throttle to one until the uh, ship uh, velocity here is um, greater than uh, 5 meter per second. To get the uh, velocity, it's a... I, I have to write velocity, okay? I want the orbit velocity. Uh, written like that, it's a vector, okay? Um, I, I'm not going to explain uh, this in this video, but I want the magnitude of that vector. And uh, I want that number to be greater to or equal, greater than or equal to uh, 500 meter per second. Okay, so uh, during this time, I just want to uh, uh, lock throttle to one. Okay, so I will, before that, lock throttle to one, throttle to one, and then I, I am. Uh, until the velocity is greater than 500, maybe I can uh, print, um, I don't know, uh, 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 the velocity. <laughs> uh, okay, I want to print velocity plus, okay, uh, that number. Okay, and I want to uh, round it uh, with uh, one digit. Okay, uh, plus meter per second uh, at uh, okay let's do for example that okay and uh, uh, once it is uh, true okay i just have to uh, um, print end of the loop for example and more importantly i have to lock throttle to zero okay i have to cut off the engine okay uh, that's it and uh, until i do that i want to uh, wait until the uh, number of seconds plus the uh, apoapsis ETA. Um, wait, sorry. I want to uh, wait until the apoapsis ETA, uh, the number that is uh, here. Uh, I want to wait, uh, you know, until the ETA is uh, less than uh, five seconds. Okay. So, uh, once the ATA is uh, less than uh, 5 seconds here, I can uh, lock the throttle to 1. Uh, my velocity will increase. And when it's uh, above 500 meter per second, the loop will be ended. And uh, then KOS continues the script from that line. Lock throttle to 0 and then print end of the loop. Okay, let's try it. All right, it's uh, the other way around. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Um, reboot. Okay, so for now, nothing is... Uh, nothing happens because I have to wait until the ETA is five seconds. Okay, we uh, won't be uh, waiting for uh, 16 minutes here. So I just warp manually. So uh, 
you have to wait until the ETA is less than five seconds. This is now and the velocity. Okay, end of the loop. Um, the velocity is uh, greater than 500. Here the number is less than 500 because uh, uh, you know that that loop is uh, going for each physics tick. So at the, the last physics tick, the velocity was um, uh, 499.6 meters per second. And when KOS goes to uh, the until to check uh, the, the condition, uh, it was for the next physics tick. So the velocity uh, uh, goes above 500 so uh, KOS stopped the loop and uh, went here okay that's why the last value recorded was uh, five, uh, 499 okay so um, this is a great no <laughs> this is a, a, a first step to uh, execute maneuver um, one more thing imagine now uh, in my ship i have uh, 140 meters per second left and uh, imagine i want to reach 700 meters per second okay or if i change that uh, i don't don't want to wait this i just want to wait two seconds um, let's see what happened reboot okay throttle to one and throttle to one and uh, the velocity never reaches 700 it it can't because I don't have any fuel but for KOS it is still in the loop KOS is still uh, uh, working it still uh, execute uh, it, it it still executes the code uh, so uh, this loop is going to uh, be run again and again and again infinitely and this is one important thing when you are, are uh, programming a code with kos or with anything else don't create infinite loop <laughs> because uh well <laughs> it's infinite okay it uh, never stops an infinite loop never stops so this is a big problem because it's if it never stops you can reach the end of your uh, program okay so um, maybe we could have add here uh, if my ship available thrust. So uh, this is the uh, value you have here, the available thrust. So if the available thrust of my ship is uh, less than uh, 0 0.1, then I want to stop the loop. OK, so I want to break. Okay, I can, uh, for example, uh, print uh, breaking the loop and then break. The, that break means that uh, KOS stops running the loop. Okay, uh, it, it, it is a, a manual precaution you have to, to make uh, when you uh, write a loop. Um, if you are sure that the loop is not infinite, you don't need the break uh, st uh, statement here. But it's better to have a break statements uh, somewhere, a break statement somewhere, to uh, avoid an infinite loop. Okay, so let's see what happens. Uh, I need to uh, reboot. Control C to abort a program. Reboot. Okay, breaking the loop because here. Um, so KOS waited two seconds, it locked throttle to uh, one, then uh, he uh, read that un until line. Uh, the condition here is false because the velocity is less than 700, so he started to, uh, to do that. But because the uh, available thrust in my ship is less than uh, 0 0.1, then uh, he print it printed uh, breaking the loop and it break uh, it has break the the loop so it went directly to that line lock throttle to zero 
you see the throttle is uh, zero here and uh, and after that it print it printed out of the loop okay so um, this is all about the until loop it's a very very common loop it's a, a very useful loop uh, in KOS uh, and in KSP uh, so uh, now let's your imagination uh, runs out of your head and uh, you you can you can write a lot of scripts now see you soon for the next episode bye bye